Greetings ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back on board. As ever, I'm your captain of gaming, Conrad Larson. And we are back in Subnautica. Um, first things first, it's been a while. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm terrible at making YouTube videos, I'm terrible at managing my time, and uni got, like, real life got in the way. But I'm back, I'm back, and I think I'm going to try and make some videos. So, we're going to start off with Subnautica, because god damn it do I love this game. So, first things first, Subnautica has had some new updates since I last played. Namely, this huge one that recently came out um, on the Thursday, I think it was, called the H2.0 update, which, well, as you're going to see, has effectively changed the entire render of the game. So, we're going to start a new game. We're going to go into survival. And we're going to load it up and get ready to go. Now, if you've watched any Subnautica videos, obviously the clip at the beginning you probably have seen before, but we're going to watch it again anyway, just because. Uh, however, it might take a little while to load. Who knows? I'll keep talking in the meantime because it's suddenly gone very quiet. So yeah, so I'm back making videos. Um, I'm hopefully going to be changing a few things, maybe getting a little bit better at it. I've got um, got, got obviously my mates, my mate uh, Zockley, uh, YouTube Zockley, Twitter, Twitch, all that. that. Um, He's hopefully going to be giving me a little bit of tips on how to get better at this, um, learning from the best, as it were. But I hope, hope you're glad to see me back. I'm hopefully going to be glad to be back. Um, making videos is always good fun, and I have missed it, I'll be honest. And what better to get back into it than a new game of Subnautica, and see how far we can get with this one. So if things have really changed, there's a lot more to do, there's a lot, sort of, a lot, lot more features to the game. It's a lot more challenging, I think. Um, but of course, as per usual, it is a bit of an open sandbox. There's the main goal, which I believe we got to last time, um, of getting into the wreck. Um, once that happens, I'm going to be looking for stuff to do, so please feel free to suggest, and I'm going to be quiet. In the late 22nd century, humanity is beginning to colonize space. Before colony ships arrive, habitation vessels are appointed terraforming missions. The Aurora was one such vessel. During its descent, the Aurora was struck by a mysterious energy pulse, resulting in catastrophic hull failure. A single life pod jettisoned prior to impact. You were in that life pod. Yes, we were. So, you might immediately notice that things look a little bit more shiny. Um, Bear in mind that because this is a new update, uh, this this new render, um, there are possibly going to be some frame drops. It's on my end, it's on your end, I don't know. Right. So, let's climb the ladder. Let's have a look at the world around us. So you might immediately notice that, look at them waves. Waves almost as gorgeous as stranded deeps. So yeah, they've entirely changed how the game renders underwater. And doesn't it just look outstanding? The only thing I don't like currently is the sort of echoiness of um, the sound of the waves above you. So I tend to find that once you get properly under, everything gets a little bit better. So we're going to follow this little instruction. We're going to break some limestone. Hey, copper. Now one of the things they've added is all these little things underneath that tells you how um, some prospect survivability's gone up. You know, there's a little more sort of... It's more... The game's telling you more up some salvage and we'll get some food if we can. Yep, we've got a peeper. Bearing in mind, peepers are incredibly hard to catch, so I can't believe I just caught two. And we want some water. Yeah, some air sacs. Come here, you little shit. Um, Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. I completely forgot. I don't have any air tanks, therefore I have little to no water. Ah, uh, air even. And we want to fix that, so what I want to find immediately, apart from salt, because salt is bloody hard to find, I want to find some... I have my entire... I've been... So I was trying out H2.0 H on another game, and I played for a couple of days, a couple sort of hours, and I found bugger all salt, and now I've just found two immediately. This game just hates me. But we're going to get some quartz, and we're going to get as much as we can right now, and then we're going to get the hell out of it before Emergency. we Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. Because what I want to do immediately is I want to... Oh, stalkers. If anyone remembers stalkers from the previous game, don't go near them until you've got yourself sorted. So, 
I want some glass. I want some quartz so I can make some glass. So we can make ourselves some a new air tank. The first thing to do is get a new air tank. So I'm going to board. A little bit of clipping there. I'm going to cook the peeper. We could cure it, but I'd rather cook. Attention. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with ongoing degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core due to damage sustained during collision. Continuing to monitor. So, yeah, things are apparently going wrong, still. Right, let's turn this uh, salvage into titanium. Bearing up, um, one thing you might notice is a lot of everything have models now when they're on the fabricator, rather than making these little cubes. And then we'll go into equipment and we'll make an O2 tank. The other thing we will do is we'll make some silicon rubber. And then we'll go out and we need to go find some more quartz again. So now we've got 75 seconds in the water. So our main goal I want to try and do in sort of at first is I just want to get a little bit of gear, gear and then we will start looking at making um, oh I forgot what they're called um, a little bit of a base because the problem is that the pod now is a little bit oh shite ow that hurt that was me being an idiot yeah the problem is the pod is now very small it's always been quite small but it, it feels a lot more lot smaller these days the um it has charging power cells but they seem to run out a lot quicker so you, you find yourselves getting sort of having to wait around and yeah having to find something else to do and all this sort of thing so yeah first goal is to get a little bit of an underwater outpost up that allows us to really focus sort of expand and focus and then from there we'll start um, start looking at making a seam off though we're going to have to get the blueprints um, and I don't know if you noticed but I am currently ignoring these so then what they've done is they've changed how these fragments work you don't just pick them up and take them back and shove them in an analyzer they've uh, I'll show you in a second I think I've got all the materials I need for one but yeah they've changed how this how this whole little setup works and I'm an idiot we're going to go back now, before I absolutely kill myself. Broadcasting of automated... So yeah, the problem obviously at the moment with those crashes is we don't have um, fins. Fins will allow you to outrun it, and obviously a sea glide will really help. And this thing is going to kill me if I don't give it something to eat. Let's get a Gary Fish. Still with the ridiculous names, but I'm not complaining. They've still changed a lot of the noises. I feel like things make different noises. These used to be utterly terrifying with the noise they made. Um, it didn't sound like the sort of noise you'd expect something of that kind to make. Anywho, let's make a bit more silicon. Right, we've got fins. Good. So what we want to make now is this. So we need a battery. So batteries are in electronics. They've also changed, they keep changing how this is organized and so you're still having to get used to it every time. So we're going to build one of these. So that's a scanner. And the other thing I always should do but I never remember to do is open uh, this. Because it gives you stuff to start with. And it changes. Sometimes you get some really good stuff. Sometimes you get some okay stuff. We've got a computer chip, and I think we got um, yeah, we got some copper wire, which meh. I suppose that's useful, but that's fine. Right. The question is, what do we need to make a knife? We're gonna need a knife. Titanium and silicon rubber. So we're gonna need more quartz again. That's fine. So this is the scanner. This is the new thing to play with. And we can start to look at what it does. So you get this little... What you'll notice is if you look in the bottom right, there's, a, there's an eye showing up. That shows that something can be scanned. Now if you get the scanner out, it then shows this circle icon. If you now hit right click, 
you will start to scan the item and you have to hold it down and then you get encyclopedia thing so you can go to your data bank here so they've really expanded this alien life forms flora acid mushroom continued degradation of the aurora's drive core may cause a quantum detonation calculating risk assessment death by malnourishment seven percent by physical injury eleven percent by exposure to radioactive crash site materials 90 percent if the drive core is breached probability of death increases to 65 percent yep so basically we're largely screwed um yeah so it sort of adds these encyclopedia de entries and it's again it's it's it gives you a sort of like a you know a bit of a pokemon thing to do try and collect them all as it were but they also do give you interesting information you might not have otherwise realized Ooh. let's try and get this thing and of course you have to be careful and you have to get close to them which can cause issues um particularly with like the stalkers and all of that but we're going to scan this guy. Yes, there's plenty to do. Um, the other thing, which I'll just should quickly show you before it goes night, is they've really changed the sky. So, flat there, it's one of the two moons of this planet. Hang on, we need to get above the water. So that's one of the two moons. And if you look, you can see it really spinning. And then there's the other moon that moves really quick. And then the sun. They've really changed the sort of how this light works. So... As you can see, as it starts to turn night time, it starts to get very dark and very black down here. But that's not a big deal, because it's going to allow us the thing we need, and that is to really see where the quartz is. Because quartz, as you may know, really sort of shows up at night. And we're going to go down here collect this. But we're also going to get this. So this is what you have to do now. You have to get the scanner and you have to scan your fragments. That takes a little while. New encyclopedia data added. But it's only one Warning. of five. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. And that's a bit of an issue with this I find. Um, not an issue, but it's, you know, it, it's the thing. Rather than having to go find one, you stick it in your analyzer and you wait five minutes. Now you have to go around and you have to find enough fragments to get the blueprint. And it varies depending on what, what blueprint you're trying to get. Some things you only need three fragments, some you only need five, some you need four, you know. It all depends. We're going to scan this little Gary fish. The good news is, if if you don't... Um, you may have noticed that. If you lose them, they go out of the scanner's sort of... Uh, aiming point as it were. You don't lose your progress when you come back into it. So you can sort of chase something around and collect it. Oh, we can scan this. New encyclopedia well hey. Now I feel like we're filling our inventory because I actually tried to pick that up and it didn't work. Which is good because I want all the quartz I can collect right now. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, I know. Right. That's probably our inventory. Never mind. Apparently we have a really empty inventory. The thing is, once you get, honestly, once you start to get more tools and you start to get more oxygen tanks, your inventory becomes smaller. And I've been playing with a fairly small inventory because of that, and I keep forgetting. Um, I'm, I'm not used to this current having a lot of inventory now. I want to try and chase one of these. Here we go. Ow, that really hurt. Interesting. But I got what I wanted, which is I wanted crash powder. Um, and the reason for that is, of course, crash powder is bloody necessary for making a welder. And the other thing that's also necessary for making a welder is magnesium. So we're going to have to find some of that stuff. We're going to scan another Seamoth fragment. The quicker I can get my Seamoth blueprint, the better. I can start looking at what I need to put together to uh, build it. Peepers. Hard to scan because it takes forever for some reason and they run away like nobody's business. Emergency. Ten yeah, seconds I know, but I want to scan this paper. Come on. New right, there we go. I may have killed myself, but we'll find out. There we go. We're fine. Warning. 
Local radiation readings exhibit characteristics consistent with total degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core. A quantum detonation will occur with a probability of 85.5%. Advise observing a one kilometer safety range. Whole fish. New encyclopedia data. Whole fish I tend to find. I, I've only started to now notice. I used to used to be before the 2.0 I think they were only found in sort of deeper darker areas but now they seem to be cave dwelling and that includes all these sort of earlier caves which is a good thing I like it, it it's nice to see more stuff right so that's what we need we'll scan the SEMA fragment hopefully not drown again and then we'll go back to the okay this is a very odd set of circumstances I don't know what's going on here. Okay, sorry about remaining. Sorry about that. Something weird just happened with the controls. Um, I had to plug in my controller to fix it. It's it's a I don't know. It's a thing and it happens. But here. Okay. Um, we're gonna pick up this salt and then we're gonna get back on. No, we're not. We're gonna scan this and then we're gonna go back board. And then we'll probably call it a day for this episode. There we go. So now we're going to head back, and then I think we'll be pretty much there for today. Collect everything we need on the way back, though. No reason not to. Uh, what happens now? Um, I'll just quickly show. If you scan, so we've now got the Seymour blueprint, but there's more fragments about. Now, if we scan these fragments, I'll show you what happens. You get titanium for it, which is actually kind of useful. My only issue is it takes too long. You don't seem to get... It, it's, it seems to take so long that I don't think it's worth the two titanium you get. Having said that, there's a lot of it. When you get better, when you get more air, it's probably less of a thick, you know, less of an issue. But it's so much easier to find salvage. Um, especially the closer you go to the wreck, the more there is. Or at least that's what I'm, I believe. I actually haven't tested that. Alright, we'll slide in. And we will quickly make some silicon rubber. Make ourselves a knife. Now, now it's quite. Some of these little flavor texts when you craft items are quite interesting. There's one bit um, when you cook food, and it comes up. I don't know if it's already come up. Oh, we got to get upstairs and watch this. Six, five, four, three, two. Here we go. Here goes the Geiger counter. The radioactive winds from this. Probably not a good idea to stand up here, but god damn it, you just have to always get up and sort of be part of that. And with that in mind, we shall call it a day there. So thank you for joining me. Um, it's good to be back, I hope you agree. Um, stay tuned for more Subnautica videos. I'm going to try to put them out sort of fairly regularly, um, especially since we're playing this a hell of a lot late, you know, as the time goes on. Um, I'm hoping to probably start putting out one video every two days. Um, for the time being it'll be Subnautica. I might start other games and interject. Um, there'll probably be a couple showcases of Space Engineers. I've got ships to show off. Um, if anyone keeps, if anyone's following Space Engineers, you will know. You will have noticed the Planets trailer. Um, obviously the ships that show up in that are I built those. Um, so, you know, I've got a lot of those to show off. What actually I've got to sh I want to show off the ships that were in the trailer. Um, some of those I have to finish, of course. So yeah, there's a lot to go on. There'll hopefully be a lot to do, and I'm hoping to make a good go of it this time. Um, so thank you for joining me. 
I shall see you next time. But until then, fair winds and following seas.